a very pleasant good morning to all my dear children welcome back to our geography class i think all of you are awaiting for this geography class right in our previous chapter previous class we have discussed about the importance of lifelines and their classification also in today's also we will learn about the classification of roads in detail let's go so we have learned about this roadways right and their importance children this roadways importance of roadways is most important it will be asked for 5 marks so that's why let's recollect what we have learned in our previous class construction of road is much lower when compared to that of railways railways we have to lay the railway track that is more costlier when compared to laying a road second one is roads also can traverse comparatively more dissected undulating topography it means on the mountains hill slopes also we can easily construct roads when compared to the railways that's why on the mountains also highest mountains himalayas also we have roadways okay but railways it's not possible the next one road transport is economically in uh, cheap for few persons and for a uh, few amount of goods for short distances for few amount of goods and few persons for short distances it is cheaper mode of transport which transport road transport so for longer distances railways are the cheaper mode of transport so next importance is road transport also provides door to door services so then the, the cost of loading and unloading is much lower so they we can we can bring any goods to our door yes or no it's only possible with the help of roadways it is not possible with the help of railways or airways also next this is the only transport which feeds up the remaining modes of transport for example if you want to reach the railway station or airport or seaport children you need to use the roads that's why road dos roadways connects the remaining modes of transport it's a feeder to remaining modes of transport children yeah so children in india roads are classified in six classes according to their capacity they are the golden quadrilateral super highways national highways state highways district roads and other roads linking rural areas and the last but not least is border roads the government has launched a major road development project children that is golden quadrilateral super highways linking delhi kolkata kolkata chennai chennai mumbai mumbai delhi by by a six lane super highways okay and also the north south corridors this north south corridors no they link srinagar in jammu and kashmir in the north to uh, the, the, the south no kanyakumari in tamil nadu so this super highway this north south corridor no it's linking jammu and kashmir in the north to kanyakumari in the south tamil nadu okay and the last one is east west corridor this east west corridor connecting children silchar in assam to porbandar in gujarat silchar in assam is in east and porbandar in gujarat is west so they are connect is this east west corridor no connecting silchar in assam to porbandar in gujarat in the west and so these are all are the parts of this project which one golden quadrilateral north south corridor and east west corridor so the major objective of these super highways is to reduce the time and the distance between the mega cities of india so these highways are being implemented by the national highway authority of india that is nhai national highways link extreme parts of the country these are laid and maintained by the central public works department children it means cpwd a number of major national highways run in the north and south east and west directions for example the historical sher shah suri marg is called national highway number 1 it is laid in between delhi and amritsar do you know where the national highway number 2 and national highway number 3 built children i'll show you here comes national highway number 2 connects delhi and kolkata and national highway number 3 links agra and mumbai 
National Highway No. 2 collect, connects Delhi and Kolkata. But National Highway No. 3 links Agra and Mumbai. And do you know children? National Highway No. 7 is the longest and travels between 2369 kilometers. It is laid in between Varanasi and Kanyakumari. Through, it means via Jabalpur, Nagpur, Hyderabad, Bangalore and Madurai. Delhi, Mumbai are connected by the National Highway No. 8. And National Highway No. 15 covers a larger part of the Rajasthan which you can see here. Children, roads linking a state capital with different district headquarters are known as state highways. These road links the state capital with different headquarters in the state. It means district headquarters. Those are called state highways. These state roads are constructed and are laid by the state public works departments. It means PWD. So this department, they lay the roads and they maintain those roads. And not only in the state children but also in the union territories. District roads connects the district headquarters with other places of the districts. These roads are maintained by the Jilla Parshit. Jilla Parshit, you know, that is a head for constructing and maintaining of these roads. So, these are the district roads, children. So, these only they are be maintained by Jilla Parshit. There are some other roads such as rural roads which link rural areas and villages with towns, children. These roads receive special impetus under the Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana. So under this scheme, special provisions were made so that every village in the country is linked to a major town in the country by an all-season motorable road. It means all-weathered road. Even in the rainy seasons also, this road can be able to connect from a major town to the every village. Border Roads Organization, a government India undertaking established, established children in 1960. It constructs and maintains roads in the bordering areas of the country. So let's see the significance of border roads. These roads of, of immense strategic importance in the northern and northeastern border areas children. Moreover, Border roads have improved accessibility in areas of difficult terrain and have helped in the economic development of these areas.